by EVGA. So it's finally here. The EVGA Z77 FTW motherboard has arrived. So before we take a look at some of the features, let's go ahead and open up the package and see what is included on the inside. So what we have here is a visual installation guide. This gives you kind of a brief overview of some of the key features and how to install your motherboard. We also have a more detailed manual along with a driver CVD and an EVGA case badge. Here we have a couple of SATA 3G cables and power adapter. EVGA also includes an adapter to utilize the onboard USB headers for an extra four USB 2.0 ports and the same for Firewire. Also a nice IO shield is included. A two-way SLI bridge. A three-way SLI bridge. And some rounded SATA 6G cables. Lastly, we have a two-port USB 3.0 bracket that connects to the onboard USB 3.0 header. So, here is the EVGA Z77 FTW motherboard. So this motherboard uses the brand new Intel Z77 chipset, which is designed for the new Intel 22 nanometer Core i5 and Core i7 CPU socket 1155. This is one of the few Z77 based motherboards on the market today that can support up to four-way SLI. And the way that this is done is actually underneath the heatsink and fan there are two chipsets. One is the Z77 chipset and the other is a PLX bridge chip, the 8747, which gives it more PCI Express 3.0 lanes. I also want to note that while this motherboard has a fan on the PCH, it spins at a relatively low RPM and is extremely quiet. This motherboard also has 8 internal SATA ports, 4 of which are SATA 6G and 2 of those are native to the Z77 chipset. So a few more features on this board. This motherboard has a few PCI Express disable switches. This set allows for easy troubleshooting. You can easily disable any of the PCI Express ports. This motherboard has a right angled 24 pin ATX connector, so this can improve the look in a chassis and really help tidy up those wires. This motherboard also features triple BIOS support. With the flick of this switch, you can switch between any three different BIOSes. You can load a different BIOS on each one or have different presets. This motherboard also features three times the gold content normally found in a CPU socket. This allows lower inductance and better power delivery. Also featured is a debug LED that not only shows diagnostic display, but also shows your CPU temperature once you boot into Windows. This motherboard also has dual 8-pin CPU power connectors, which can deliver up to 300 watts power input for the CPU. Do keep in mind that only one is required. There are also two options for PCI Express power input. Choose the option that best fits your chassis cable management. Another new interesting feature to EVJ motherboards is a dark mode jumper. With the flip of this jumper, the onboard red LEDs, which are used underneath the PCI Express ports and for the power and reset, are disabled. On the I.O., we have a total of six USB 2.0 ports and a clear CMOS and PS2 connector. We also have four USB 3.0 ports. We also have another two USB 3.0 ports on a header. This motherboard also has an onboard mini display port out which can deliver entry level graphics. Of course this can also be disabled if you have a discrete graphics card or the EVGA Z77 FTW motherboard also supports Lucid MVP technology which allows you to utilize the onboard graphics as well as the discrete graphics for a variety of different functions. On the I.O. we also have 8 channel audio plus optical dual gigabit ethernet and dual eSATA 6G ports. So there you have it. Thanks for watching this brief overview of the EVGA Z77 FTW motherboard. As you know, this motherboard was built for performance and overclocking, so stay tuned next time when we take a look at that. See you then.